Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you able to hear me very well? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. That is great. That is great. So we are just trying to check out in just a second uh, whether you are hearing me or we are hearing everybody. The great thing now you're hearing us. So let me uh, introduce myself. I'm called Nachibia Dorini and I'm a teacher of physics and mathematics. So we are here uh, to take you through uh, today's lesson. I'm glad to be here with you. I hand it over to Mr. Peter. Okay, teacher Doreen, are these people have able to hear me properly? If you can hear me, I think they can also hear me well. Are you able to hear teacher Peter members? Yes, they yes. are. Okay, that is great. Okay, I welcome you all to this uh, uh, Zoom lesson that we are going to have today. Uh, I don't know if teacher Chi Jose, you can help me share your screen so that uh, you are my slide uh, operator for this lesson because I think I will find it easier. Teacher Jose, if you can help. Teacher Jose, are you there? Are you seeing my screen, Teacher Peter? Yes, teacher Dorin, we can see your screen very well. Thank you for sharing. I had issues, but uh, I'm here okay. now. Okay, you can I help us share your, your screen. Good afternoon. Okay. Uh, this is teacher Joseph. Uh, teacher Dorin, you can continue. Don't mind if you okay. don't mind. Do continue. Okay, very well. Uh, thank you, teacher Doreen. Okay, friends, good afternoon once again. This is uh, teacher Joseph uh, Chidjambo. We shall be discussing or proceeding with the uh, Archimedes principle. We had discussed a little bit of it last time. But before we start off, let me request someone to give us a prayer first. Anyone? You raise your hand, please, if you're ready. Anybody who is ready to lead us in a prayer? Um, our Father, thank you for the gift of this day. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of our parents, Lord Father. Your father, as you're going to learn, your father, please enable us to catch the thing that you as the teachers are going to teach us, your father. What's the offer make the beginning and the end? Your father, we pray for coronavirus in our country to go so that you can go back to school. In your name I pray. Amen. May the grace, May the grace, May the grace of, of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love Christ, of God, love of the God, fellowship of, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you very much. Teacher Peter, before you take off, yes, uh, I request Welcome. someone who gave us a prayer to rename your device such that we can easily identify you if that is okay with you. 
So as I said at the start, we are continuing with the uh, at Medis principle as our okay, topic. Sir. All right. Uh, at Medis principle as our topic. So we uploaded a few apparatus that you need for the activities we are going to do this afternoon in our padlets. So you can as well go there and check out what you need and get ready if you didn't. Then also, uh, maybe to brief you about what you're going to do before you start off fully, uh, we, we try to, uh, to separate the, uh, the presentations in our padlets. So you won't be presenting your work in the column of, of teachers. You'll be looking out for hand in column or section. Uh, under senior three holistic learning platform. That's where you'll be posting your work for today. So before we start off the activities, we are going to first take you through what you're going to do or the procedures that such that you have a picture of what you're going to do. And then we shall come back and, and digest slide step by step as you as well execute the work paid. Hope that is okay with you. Okay, to repeat the, these slides as well, and the part of the, from the phone, yes, that is near three or six learning platform. But as well, we are going to take you through all the steps here. And then after in the last uh, 30 minutes, we shall be, it will be a time for you to execute the work and then present. Right, over to you, Teacher Peter. Okay, thank you, Teacher Joseph, for uh, the briefing at the beginning. Uh, my dear students, like they have told you that today we are covering at Medis principle. Now, to understand this principle well, we decided to break it into two. Today we are going to cover the first break. Then in the other lesson, when we meet, We'll cover the next break so that we understand this principle well. Teacher Doreen, let us go to the next slide. Um, before Teacher Peter will go to the next slide, yes. I think we are supposed to set some rules to govern our lesson. Uh, okay. Yeah, for the for collect order. Uh, members, I think uh, uh, we can mute ourselves. Uh, for a moment in uh, when teachers are explaining. So if a teacher asks a question or any other addition, you can just raise up your hand. We shall be able to see you and then you make your uh, comment. Thank you so much. Okay, let, let, let us go to our next uh, slide. Okay, members, by the end of this lesson, uh, you, 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 the learner, you as a person, you can put your name there and say, by the end of this lesson, I, Mukisa, I, uh, Jose, I, this one, I should be able to, one thing that we are going to do is we are going to design a rubber band spring balance because we are going to be using a spring balance in many of our experiments of Archimedes principle. So we'll need to design our own because we don't have them. We have ever seen them in the labs at school, but now we are home. We need to design our own. Then the next one, we are going to use the spring balance that we have designed to determine weight, of an object in water, because we will need to know uh, weight of an object in air and weight of an object in water if we have to understand that Medis principle. Then lastly, we will, you should know or you should have understood upthrust. What does upthrust mean? Because uh, for those who have who looked at Archimedes principle, you know there is a a place or there is a point where we talk about the upthrust force. So those are the three things you should make sure you have gained from this lesson 
by the end of it. Uh, teacher Doreen. Yes, please. Uh, you take it to the next slide and I think it's uh, you giving us a, a story that can help us get an introduction to uh, our, our lesson. Uh, thank you so much, teacher Peter. So I'm giving you a scenario and it will be in form of a story. Uh, friends, this one, it is an interesting story. Uh, this story, I, uh, my mom is the one who told me about it. She told me that when I was still young, I used to like swimming. I never knew what I was doing, but I just wanted to be all the time in water. So whenever people are washing clothes, me, I could go there and I'd be in their water disorganizing them in the basin. So uh, one day, my mom said that, mm, I think I should take my child to the swimming pool and then she enjoys. By then I was three years old. But uh, depending on my appearance, I was three years, but too big for life. Not too big, but uh, my weight, it was large. So my mom used to call me as she's complaining that, but you heavy, you heavy. So me, I never knew. So she was telling me that, okay, she told me that I used to, to weigh a lot by then, yet, yet I was just three years. So she, we prepared to go to the swimming pool. Uh, we prepared, uh, she prepared that uh, outing and then she took me there. When we reached at the swimming pool, she, uh, she put, uh, uh, we won our swimming costumes. Uh, she was the first and then she, she put me in also my swimming, swimming costume because I never knew even what is going on. Just I was looking water at what I excited. Uh, then, uh, for her, she went in the swimming pool. Me, she left me standing at the showers of uh, the top of, uh, of the swimming pool up there. So after she has entered, she, she entered, uh, she carried me and also she put me in a swimming pool. She did not uh, lose me. Okay, she did not uh, remove me from uh, her hands because I could drown from there since I was young. But remember, we came as she's complaining that you're too heavy. I really don't know. Your weight is too great. Me, I never knew what she was talking about. So she told me that when she called me and to the swimming pool and she put me in water, she observed immediately that, oh, she felt that I'm not having weight. It was as if she was not carrying me before. My weight has, okay, it redu it, as if it was uh, reduced. Then she, 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 she told me that I really wondered why when I was carrying you eh, uh, in, in air before we entered the swimming pool, you were weighing, uh, we, you had a greater weight. And then when I used to put you uh, in the swimming pool, when I put you there with my hands, I even I could be like, I want to, be with you for the, I, I couldn't leave you, okay? Because you are just weightless is there. Your weight was reducing. So she kept on wondering, and even up to now, she's still asking me what brings about that. So can you think about that? That was the end of the story. She's still wondering which mechanism is that. Over to you, Mr. Peter. Ah, what an interesting story. Thank you, uh, teacher Doreen, for the story. I was anxiously waiting for it when you told me that you have uh, a story for us. Uh, members, we now have a scenario. The baby teacher Doreen was heavy by the time they were going to the swimming pool. But then when they reached the swimming pool, 
her mother said to her that her weight as if it had reduced. So that means she weighed differently in air and now the weight is different in water. But we have to help teacher, we have to help the mother know why was this happening? That is the, what we are going to be thinking about as we go on in our, in our lesson. I would request one person uh, to read for us the requirements that we need to read for us what is on the screen. Teacher Jose, help me pick one person. Please raise up your hands for Teacher Jose to pick you up so that you can be able to uh, okay. read for us. Thank you, Teacher Peter. Please stop. Must please unmute and read for us. My rubber spring, spring balance. For this lesson, you need a spring balance. Look around your home for A, a rubber band. B, a ruler from your mathematical set. C, a pin. D, a safety pin or small paper clips. E, a water bottle or cut off the top or plastic cup. F, salt tape or black tape rubber band. G, I use I used up dry cell or oh, no, oh, no. I thank you, Marcel, for that. So those are the requirements we are going to be uh, using in this activity. Mm -hmm. So the used up dry cell will act as our object for this lesson. Ah. Then you have a rubber band, which you normally have at home. The one that is elastic, a lula, you know that one, uh, which you can buy from the shop and even you get, can get it from the mathematical set, as you said here, a pen, then a pin that it can be used as a hook in this experiment, then a plastic cup. Okay, thank you, uh, the person who has helped us read uh, our, our requirements. I would like to find out if we can get those requirements around, around home. Teacher, teacher Doreen, you can help me take back that uh, for, for the students who are here, do you have those requirements around home so that we can kick start? Uh, teacher Jose had already put the requirements in the Padlet before the lesson. And I think some of you had seen that and collected. But if you have not, you had not yet got them, try looking around, try looking around, try looking around. I think we can give you five minutes. Uh, you can ask from your parents some of these things. Uh, other things you can check around you. If there is any that you have not understood on how to get it or what it means, you can ask us in the chat. We can be able to help you. We are giving you five minutes. Please look around, look around, look around and find uh, those uh, things that we need. Uh, we are waiting for you. A safety pin for those ones who understand Luganda, it, it is called a chikwanso. You can use a chikwanso. Or if you don't get a chikwanso, you can get any small copper wire piece. Uh, like those ones which are used to hang clothes, but you get a small piece of it because we we need a hook. We need the hook. Uh, then 
you can ask for a plastic cup or a plastic glass, but make sure it is a bit longer than the length of the dry cell. Um, you can get salt tape if you don't have salt tape and you can access black tire rubber band. Some of us uh, know it as all cover, those things that are used to tie brooms. Uh, you can also have that uh, a ruler, each one of you might, must be having a mathematical set. We want that small ruler there and you must have a rubber band. That one is a must because we have no alternative for the rubber band. Please use these minutes to get those requirements. Okay, also those ones who also understand Uganda and those ones who don't understand, I think you can hear. Uh, for those people who parents say uh, have gomasis at home, uh, you can ask them, uh, you can go and ask for permission to use on their flowers. The flowers, some flowers, bibaita ebitambala, chebasiba kugomas after wearing it, echitambala, it has the, some of those pins. So you go to your parent and then ask one of those pins or maybe two of them from there, if your parent happened to be with it. I would like to hear from the students, teacher Jose, if they are able to get these requirements. Those ones who have them, those ones who are still looking for them, we would like to hear which one is missing so that we can give alternatives where possible. Okay, teacher Peter, maybe we, we can hear from those who had gotten all the, 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 uh, the apparatus, if any. And if some are finding issues, we can as well hear from them. But if one can't access any, Okay, as well, if you don't mind, you can have your video open so that we see what you're, what you're doing, if you don't mind. So I think I can be, I stop sharing. Now? No, you, you should, because you are going to be following the activities. They are active. You are going to be following activity one for the steps. Uh, we okay. just want to hear from them if for, I just wanted to say like that I just wanted us to see those ones who are looking for them. Okay, nice. ones, yes. Okay. Okay, we are seeing Kitui, Rebecca, have you are you looking for them? Because I'm seeing you. Have you got some? Rebecca, are you hearing me? Okay. Noreen, do you want to say something? You can unmute. Uh, I think I have everything, but I don't have a rubber band. Uh, okay. Can I ask her something? All right, please. Uh, Noreen, do you have, where are you? Are you near a shop? No, I'm just uh, in the house. You are just in the house. I thought you can get some things, a rocky rubber band from uh, the party things from the shop. I thought you were near there. Teacher Dorin. Yes, teacher Suka. Can can Norin get that black tire tire thing that is used to tie brooms? Uh, by the way, a uh, Norin can also work properly. You can Noreen, move yes. From a broom. yes, yes, yes. Do you have a broom there? 
Uh, yes, I can get. Can you please uh, just remove that rubber tire and use it for a moment after you make sure you return it back on that broom? Okay. Because it can also work as a rubber band. Remove one of, because they be like three of them on the broom. Okay, friends, to remind those who came in late, our topic of discussion is uh, Archimedes principle. And we are trying to come up with our homemade uh, spring buns. So for elastic uh, material, a number of them, uh, shut on a minute, you can have a number of them. You can have a rubber band. Uh, you can have any elastic material. Uh, if you checked, if you checked very well, these disposable masks, the blue ones or black ones, okay, you can find you can extract the elastic part of of the holders as well. They can work. Or if you have uh, any dress or cloth that you don't use anymore you can find the elastic cloth midway it and that can as well improvise for any elastic material to use so try and think outside the box and come up with any elastic material that you can have in your reach for now okay sharon you had you wanted to say something your hand was up You don't have soft pins. Pardon? Soft pin. Okay. You don't find any. Sharon doesn't have a safety pin, but he, uh, you can get any small wire, like a piece of wire, and you design it in form of a hook. You just Hope bend you know. it on top and a, bottom. A small, a small wire that can be able to hold an object and you bend it to make a hook and you will use that one instead of a safety pin. Teacher mm. Peter. Yes? I think I can just understand how they can bend that metal. That it is wire. okay. It is okay. Yes, I think if it is, because it be it be straight, mm. but then when you have it, you can just bend it like this on top, and then also on the bottom, like that. So yeah. this one can help you. That is that is it. Uh, teacher, teacher, a big dry cell also works. A big one. Sorry, what? A big dry cell. Yes, a dry cell is the one that we are going to use, that big one. We don't want the small ones. Okay. We want a big one. Okay, teacher Dorin, I think some people have already got the apparatus. Okay. Uh, we, 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 teacher, we have... teacher. Yes. Maybe let's, let's first hear from them and find out a number that has obtained already. Are able to find at least a three quarters of what you need. Mm -hmm. If you have gotten all of them, you can put up your hand. Or you can just raise your hand, okay, and tell us. Pop, pop, I'm not able to identify you. Would you please rename your device if that is okay with you? Um, I don't think. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Um, apart from the dry cell, is there anything else we can use? Yes. yes. Okay, let me first think of something here. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, who asked, was that Hannah? Yes. Hannah. 
Okay. Are you able to uh, to find any any small someone like kind of padlock? Yeah. Are you able to find one? Yeah. Hmm? Okay. We can yeah. use this. You can use that for for now. Okay. All right. But make sure that it will fit in the container you're using. It, sh it should be a, okay. it should be a little bit small. Over to you, Doreen. Yes, please. Uh, I think also she should not forget that padlock. She should keep it safely because it yeah. is for the home. Yeah, sure. And then she will use it also in the next lesson. Yeah. Of course. Okay, friends, how far have we gone with uh, getting the apparatus? Okay, Makisa, you want to say something? Please unmute. Uh, teacher, for me, I'm done with everything. I've got everything. Okay, that's good. Any other? Okay, teacher Peter, I think for now we can we can proceed as other friends to find other okay. rest for you, Peter. Okay. Teacher Doreen, can you help me yes. put the next slide? Okay, please. And now, members, I want us to follow these procedures properly so that we can be able to get what we need. So using the salt tape that you have, I want you to fix that rubber band on the ruler. Let me save vertically so that it covers the whole length of the ruler. Doreen, I think you can take us to the diagram so that they see well what we tried out. Okay. And now, members, that black thing you see up there, uh, you can show it to them. That okay. black thing is, uh, is our cello tape. That this black one thing here. Is, yes, is our cello tape. But you can also put small pieces where you see those two things, you can put those small pieces so that they can be able to help you hold uh, your thing properly. And the one which is down here is the hook that we are talking about. Uh, that one is the solo tape. This one here? Yes, no, I, I mean the one down because the one, one down is our hook. Yes, that one there. So people, I want you to put your, uh, your rubber band like that. Make sure that up there it has been tied strongly because uh, we don't want it to fall off when we have started working. Maybe you can take the rubber band, the other side of the ruler so that you tie it from one side and then also this side so that it is so, 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 so strong. So make sure you take your time, please, and design it very well. And they should take note that if they don't overstretch it at that step. Yeah. They should not overstretch the rubber band at that step, like you are seeing it there. Okay, friends, are we progressing? Let's hear from you. 
So this one here, teacher Jose, they, they don't uh, get confused with this here. Mm -hmm. it will, that's what they will handle. It's like a handle for them. Yeah, sure. Hope they are progressing well. Let's hear from them how far they have gone. Anyone ready to share with us if it is really working out? Well, we can share, we can allow somebody to share with us how and a video on how she or she is doing it. Yeah, sure. Anyone ready can uh, open the Take video. Over the, the screen. Yeah, sure. Somebody who is ready to take over, please, and share with us your screen and you put your video there. Somebody, I mean to put a video such so that we can see you and how you're doing it. Members enable your videos so that we can be able to see what you are doing, Such what you are trying out. Idea. That's if you were able to get all what you needed. Nobody wants to share with us the video on what you are doing. Someone uh, is asking how to use a safety pin. How can we use it properly? Teacher Doreen, one was sharing a video and the, okay. then you came up. I, I, unfortunately, I didn't get Yes, it's Birunji, Sharon. Sharon, Birunji let us on. let us see what you are uh, putting down. Okay. Yes, you show us properly. Who? Sharon. Please share with us. Take us through how you have come up with that because some of your friends are finding issues. So. We want to hear from, from you what how you have done. Wow, that is interesting. I've not seen it clearly, but I'm seeing it is very nice. Oh, can you extend it a little bit far away from the camera so that we can see it properly? Okay, let us see. Uh, teacher Doreen. Yes, Shapita. I think we should help her. Mm. That that hook, that hook that she has put, it has to be first of all, the, the, the we, we, we forgot to help them that that rubber band should be cut so that it makes a long kind of thread. Okay, before she removes the before she removes that the, the video, can you please show me? Show me, please, what you have done. Okay, so you, you're going to cut that from where you fixed the rubber band. You cut it like that it is. You one cut thing, it. One string, eh? You, you cut one string from there. Then the hook should be down. Okay. Yeah. Hey, the hook should be down, not You up can there. leave it up there. And, because we have two sides, this side and then this side here. Okay. So this one can be the, the bottom and then the other side be the top. And can't okay, it work? Fine. Let her yeah. leave it there, but then the tape. That's that 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 thing should be attached. That hook should be attached to the rubber band. Okay. Because so it has to be... carry the weight, yes. Mm. But it's a good trial. Let you first show her the, the, the diagram so that okay. she can be able to. Norin has. Uh... 
So the range we are seeing you from the here. Range, can you can see the diagram. Teacher Jose, I guess Noreen has a question. You help her answer it. Okay, Noreen. A teacher, um, since most people are using a hook, and what is that thing holding that hook? Because for me, I'm using a safety pin, and I don't know what is holding that hook there. <laughs> Yeah, I can share my video and you see the way I've done it so that you can help me very well. Okay. All right, please. The lighting. Noreen, can you Asha, see it? It's like, yeah, can there's no we can see well because we are not seeing the, the okay. Mm. Yes, Patrick. Uh, we are seeing you, but you are not seeing what you are doing. What is wrong, Patrick? Did we help you with something we want to see your model? We want to see what you are putting up. Can you see here? Huh? Yes, Noreen, then you can show us because now we are seeing you. Uh, it's like, so you can see. Okay, now what you are going to do is you are going to tie the free end, the, the free end of your rubber band that you are using. Mm -hmm. you, you make sure you tie it on that safety pin and leave the safety pin to hang around because it's just going to help you hold your object. But make sure you have tied it properly. On the rubber band. On the rubber band. At that free end, the, other, the one which where there is no solid tape. Yes, may we have other people? Kaya, we want to see what you are doing. Hannah, so, and Faith, and Maurice, Mokisa, uh, Ruth of Kenya, Krista Bella, Daphne. I want to see what you are come up with so that uh, we. Is sharing again. Yeah. Okay. Hannah, can you show us please and see what you have done again? Wow, that is wonderful. Wow, that is great. So down wow. here, do you have your pay, your hook? Yes. Okay, right. let me see up at the top. At the top. Let me see where you have put the soul tape. Yes, it is. Oh, so now what you are going to do, to do uh, you, you make sure that the salt tape you is, make sure that the salt tape is very very fixed. Um, uh, hmm? On the rubber band, are you see? Uh, have you put a hook down there that is swinging? On the rubber band, have Not you? Put, Okay, you put it there because that's where we are going to put our mask there. You put it there, so mm -hmm. like that we can be able to hang our mask. As well, teacher, teacher Doreen and uh, teacher Peter. Our yes, friends please. here know that uh, the rubber band or any elastic material they are using should be free to extend. Okay. Yes. Yeah. They shouldn't fix it like too much with the wires. So it should be free to stretch because that will be very important. 
Yeah, because now I think it is better for them to just fix it very firmly at the top. Then in the middle, they leave it like it, uh, they give it a room for extension in the middle there. Maybe we, we hear from other friends how far they have gone. Zayan, do you want to say something? No. Okay. Uh, Faith, how far have you gone? I'm trying my best. Okay, that's good. Janet? You can show us your video. Janet. Teacher. Any, any problem? I have a solution. Okay, Nori. Teacher, I was saying people don't have like rubber bands. I think these things which they use to tie masks can work because they are elastic. Yes, yeah. as I said earlier on, you can improvise with any elastic material you have in your reach. You can use the holders of the disposable masks. They can work. If you don't need it, okay, if you have already used it, but as well, remember to dispose of very well after use, you can use that. Or we say that if you have any, any old dress that you are not using or any cross that has any elastic material cross midway it, you can as well use that. It will really work in that case. All right. Okay. Somebody is asking that I should share us like that she compares. Wow. They are grown with what she has done. Can okay. I go on? Yes, yes you share the diagram. As okay. teacher Doreen is sharing, let's hear from uh, other friends, how far they have gone? Please make Mark. sure, uh, sorry. Please make sure that the hook that you are seeing there is free to move and should be attached to the rubber band. Make sure the hook is attached to the rubber band. I think we are giving people only five minutes so that we go on to the other thing. Now, if you have finished designing uh, up there, almost near to the sole tape, uh, we want you to, uh, to make a paper mark, a, a pen, a, a mark with a pen. Just make a pen, just use a pen to make a mark on your rubber band. And that mark is going to act as our pointer, like the one you are seeing there in my in my diagram that one there yeah please make a mark with a pen that one is going to work as your pointer after you have designed well uh, we can uh, we can see other people's uh, trials okay. we are almost okay uh, teacher Teacher Peter, mm -hmm. let's, let's hear from other friends. Cynthia, how far have you gone? Cynthia, how far have you gone? Sharon, please mute your mic. Okay, let's hear from Cynthia, how far have you gone? Any progress? Okay, maybe Cynthia is not ready yet. Let's hear from uh, Mercy. Yes. How far have you gone? Um, I'm still working. Okay. Don't forget that we have only Three minutes to do that. Okay, let's hear from uh, Christopher. How far have you gone?
not really she has put the initial mark because she has done the designing. Yes. Okay, yes. that's that's good. Moksa, the worker is good, okay. NASA, how how far have you gone? Any progress? Okay, friends, those of you who have just joined us, our topic of discussion is uh, Archimedes principle. We understand you have discussed part of it last time. So this is our lesson two, and you're trying to come up with our homemade spring balances that we shall use in the due course. And for the activity, basically that we have about uh, two minutes to end that, so that we proceed to what you are going to re really use that for. So in the last uh, two minutes, close to one and a half, you must be ready to, to proceed. And in that sense, let's, let's hear from our friends how far they have gone. Priyanka, how far have you gone? Any progress? Okay, maybe Priyanka is just listening in. Janet, any progress? Okay, Joseph, my namesake, Joseph Kagwa, how far have you gone? Any progress? So this one will act as our handle, Mr. Joseph, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Because we shall to, to hold it or hang it somewhere mm. in the due process. Okay, I think we have like 30 seconds. Over to you, teacher Peter. I think we okay. need to proceed from here. Okay. Uh, hope everyone who has tried uh, making one, uh, I, I advised you to put a, a mark. So that mark pen, using a pen is going to work as our pointer. And then, because we have done a good job, uh, at the end, you will take a picture of your design and you save it because we need to see what you really designed. Now, if you have put the mark and you have put everything where it has to go as guided by the procedures and the diagram, now we have to put our instrument at use. Please make sure the rubber band is firm at the end up there. Make sure it has space to, to, to extend. And then at the bottom, please make sure that it is free, but it must be attached to the hook because there is where we are going to put our object. Now, teacher Doreen. Yes, please. Go to the next slide. Okay. Uh, we are done with this. Unfortunately, I've lost my slides. Okay. I can't see them. Sorry. Okay. Someone should should take us through, read us of. Oh. Read the, the activity one as we dissect it. Anyone ready? Put up your hand. Although you have done that already, but uh, we need to, to hear from you. Okay. 
Anyone ready to read for us? Yes, okay. Rhea. Rhea has raised the hand. You can go on, please. Rhea. Yes, ma'am. Ria, please, we are waiting for you to read for us so that we dissect this very well. Using okay, please proceed. Activity one. Uh, I think the network is disturbing her. I was seeing some hand again. Teacher Dory. Okay. Yes, please. Can you please reshare the screen? Because I think it's not me alone who has lost it. There is some other person complaining. Okay. Good. I can now see it. Thank you. That is great. You're welcome. Okay. You can press. Okay, if you're not ready, I saw Norini's hand was up. Norini can read for us. Okay, using saw type of black tire rubber band, fix the rubber band on the, on the ruler. That's step one. And step two is make sure it is not stretched at, at, this, step, at this step. And step three is um, fix the safety pin at the end of the rubber band to act as a hook. Step four is on the rubber band, use a pen to mark to mark up a mark near the upper end to act as a pointer. And take a picture of your design. And the last step is our rubber band spring balance is now ready to use. Make sure okay. you note this this step four. Step five. You should take a picture of your design. Make sure you take it. Okay. At that point, teacher Doreen, maybe to stress it, as you take a clear photograph of what you have designed, okay? That is the sample you're talking about, the one before. So you're uploading your work uh, in the padlet, but as we said at the start, we decided to dissect or separate the two sections. We are posting all our work in a column or section of hand in, hand in homework or assignment. That column is where we're posting all our work, whether a photograph or a picture or your work or summary or anything, procedure, we post it there, okay? And as well, as you're posting, please remember to log in either with your Gmail account, in that case, it is easier to download Padlet app on Google Play or Play Store, App Store or any. And then you sign in with your Gmail account. We shall be able to identify you by name. And if you're having a picture, we shall be able to see you, okay? Otherwise you'll be identified as anonymous. But anyway, even when you, you go there, as anonymous, please, as you post, remember to leave a name below your work or on top of your work. Okay, thank you. Over to you, teacher Peter. Okay, uh, teacher teacher Joseph, please find out the problem that Norin has. I've seen her chat here. She's telling us she has a problem. Otherwise, teacher Dorin, we can go to the next. No, teacher, I don't. I don't. I don't. I was telling someone. Okay. Can I go on, please? Yes, let us go to 
the next the next slide okay okay now that we have designed uh, what we are going to call our rubber band spring balance in this activity too we are going to use it to find something and that something are those things that you see in the procedures there i will ask one of you uh I've not had the, a boy reading for us in this lesson. I request if there is any boy who can see the screen uh, to please read for us the procedures. What we read is what we do. So I want a boy to read for us procedure one by one. So that we what we read is what we do. So any boy, uh, teacher Jose, any boy's hand up there so that we can pick that one to read for us. Okay, I, I don't see any. Uh, okay. Ria, please. Animate and proceed. Okay, Zion, maybe Ria is not ready. Zion, please unmute and proceed. On the rubber spring balance, note the issue, note the initial position of our pen mark on the rubber band. Then step two. Yes, go on. R read and record it in your book as as p0 okay let us first pause from there i want you to note remember we had our pen mark on the rubber band so i think you know how to read uh, from a ruler from a meter rule that small meter rule that you have has 15 centimeters on it Peter, are we still having you? Okay, maybe to stress that point as teacher Peter is coming. As recording sentiment, where that mark is, is equal to, then you write the answer that you have, but it should be to one decimal place and the unit should be centimeters. Teacher Jesus, are you adding on something as if some people they have not heard? Okay. Uh, someone is asking, I think we have a newcomer, someone is asking uh, the topic, my friend Samantha, this is uh, the second lesson of Archimedes Principle, and you're trying to come up with our homemade spring balances, okay, so that was our activity one, we, we sent the, the, the apparatus you need, now padlets, so I hope you are able to access them. But uh, to stress a point of, of Peter, so uh, after making your, your mark, the one we circled there, okay? Either way, even when you, you're having your ruler, because the, it has two ends, okay? You might have fixed your, your hook at the zero mark or at the highest mark of that ruler, either way. Just note the starting point or your initial point as where your point is that mark, okay? And note it down as your pin note. That should be a point to note in that case. Okay, Zion, please proceed with the other outline or procedure. Over to you. Suspend a dry cell on the hook at the free end of the rubber band. 
the final position of the pin map on the rubber band. Read okay. and record it in your book as P1. Okay, you can, you may stop there for now. Uh, I want us to do those procedures. I want to you to suspend your hook, your, your dry I cell. I think we first do up to procedure finding P1. Okay, thank you for, for reading. Uh -huh. oh. The network is disturbing her. Friends as Q1, remove the dry cell from the hook. Thank you so much, dear, for, for taking us through the activity. Irunji is having someone. Teacher Jose, are you there? Yes, please. I'm Sharon, seeing... you want to say something? I'm not seeing the school. Okay, maybe. Again? Yes, please. Yeah, Do share. Yeah. Okay, someone in the chat asked uh, to how many decimal places. Okay. A ruler is in centimeters. Okay. If you use, okay, there, there are two scales, okay? There's, there's a scale, it depends on the ruler you're having, a scale of millimeters, okay? Or a scale of inches, but you have another scale of, of centimeters, okay? And uh, we are using the scale of, of centimeters. And if you look at your ruler, you're having from set zero mark to one, they are 10, other divisions, okay? In that sense, you can have 0 0.1 if your mark is at one, the first mark after, after zero, or if it is at the sixth, then it will be 0 0.6 centimeters, okay? That is to say, for this rule that you're having, we give all our units, one decimal place in centimeters. Uh, teacher, teacher Esther, let's let's remove this one, okay? Mm. Leave okay. that, remove that one, and put it where you're having a two, to give a clear picture the one should do of what you're one. having. Mm. So this one, yes, I, I change it as as one. Yeah. Yes. One one. Then Maybe remove the other one. Anything. So this one. Yes. Remove that, yes. Okay, I'm going to remove it. Okay. Then where you had written a two should be a one, okay? So that, that is the structure we have in that sense, okay? Uh, all right, that's good. Okay, and the one there, yeah, that's what I was saying. So if 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 your pointer is at uh, the first the first mark after zero, yeah, somewhere there. Okay, so that will be zero point one. Okay, because you're having ten units yielding to a one. If say your pointer is at the ninth mark from zero, then that will be zero point nine centimeters. Okay. So if you run through, depending on where your pointer is, say if it is at, at the fourth, the fourth pointer or the fourth mark after 10, it depends on where you, you or the ruler you, you used. So that will be 10.4 centimeters to one decimal place. Thank you. Over to you, teacher Peter. Okay. Uh... 
I wanted these people to suspend their dry cell and we see how they are coming up with that procedure. Procedure three of activity two, suspend the dry cell on the hook. You can first tie your dry cell on a certain thread and then uh, you put it on a hook such that uh, it can be able to hang. Please hold the ruler firmly so that that dry cell can be able to hang on your hook. Uh, and then we'll do the other procedures. So members, the end which they're talking about is this one here. So you're going to suspend your dry cell with here on the hook. You suspend it there. Isn't it teacher Peter? Okay, teacher Doreen. Yes, let's, please. Let's hear from our friends how far they have gone to teacher that Doreen. before. They need to show to us. Teacher Doreen. Yes, please you could share the diagram where we have the next slide where we have dry cell suspended in water okay. on the spring balance okay in water i didn't see that there is a correction needed there sorry in air in air on the spring balance so the the setup is supposed to be uh, looking like this dry cell suspended in air on the spring balance where we have E1 is air is found. So this is how your suspension should be looking like. Can we allow people to show us what, what they, have, they have done? Yes, it's okay, we can do that. We can okay. allow the videos to come in. We are welcoming videos, please. Yes, Goletti. I think you have a question. Yes, go on. Uh, what, uh, what if you tie um, the, the cell with a, with a thread? It's okay because you, you, we need it to be hanging. Eh? So you can tie okay. with a thread, it is fine. Uh, Teacher Peter. At the end, at the end not, not using a thread as a rubber band, but at the end here, so that it can help you hold it properly. Yes, teacher Jose. Yes, uh, our friends should know that uh, we, we are using any elastic material, okay? Because a string or thread is not as such elastic. Yeah, I, 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 I think so, it was meaning here down. I uh, where we have okay. so as to hold the dry cell properly. She was talking about oh, okay. this end here, teacher Jose. Yes, that one. This end. That one you can use. You can use the. the yeah. So okay. I think yeah, you can use the thread. Yeah, and you put it there in your hook that is fixed on the rubber band. So this one can be your thread. So Jose, we have an issue someone has a, a small dry cell 
we don't know how we're going to help that person find the mass in air the weight in air because for the big one we have an approximate value that we already found but for the small one okay for yes. teacher peter for the matter of uh, demonstration we may not go into uh, measuring uh, because i don't think our friend is able to access the weighing scale okay. at this point but for practice and trying yeah. yes for practice and trying out with us uh, he, he can proceed he or she can proceed okay with the procedures though he or she might not be able to to work out the subsequent activities but for practice uh, we can proceed in that sense yeah, she, he, that person uh, can proceed with us as she or she is doing uh, what we are doing and not down such that he, she can remember after some time. Okay. Uh, members, we want to see you. Teacher Joseph. Yes, go on. Yes, please. Can you please send the, the procedures on the group so that those who are unable to copy them can get them and, and be able to, to do it? Okay, please. Okay, do that at the Thank you. The, at the end of the lesson, Teacher Jose, you remember to do that. Can we get some videos from some members? Yes, Birunji. Yes, we've had that drive. is great. Birunji, are you able to find the the new pointer position? Hmm? Is there a difference between the first pointer position and the second one? It is not there. Sure. Yes. yes. Maybe yes. because you use the small one. Okay, we are going to see what the problem is. Anybody to show us a video? Another person? Another person to, to share with us what you are doing? Yes, yes, Muksa. That is great. Are you able to get a new position of the mark, Muksa? Unmute yourself, please. So let me try out. Okay. Yes, teacher. That is great. So make sure I note it down as the procedure says. When you're able to get the new position, uh, they told you that that one you note it as the P1. And that one will be your new position. Hannah, has the, the, the padlock given you a new position? Is there a difference between the first one and the second position? Yes, teacher. Okay, note now the new pointer position and call it P1 and write your answer in centimeters like you did to P0. Okay. Uh, I saw the person with a big dry cell. Are we able to get uh, P no, P1, the person with a big dry cell? I think that one was Mukisa, and I think she's saying that it is, she got it. Okay. If we have not. Okay, teacher yes. Peter, uh, teacher Lauren, eh? yes, just a please. reminder. Maybe it was an oversight. Some some friends with us here might be having uh, kitchen weighing scales. Okay.
Okay. Okay. If maybe you use any other, if you use any other material, say for those of you using uh, padlocks, small ones or big ones, depending on which one will fit in the container you're going to use, or a small dry cell, you can use it to measure. You can be able to obtain it in that case. Thank you. Over to you, please. Okay, of the members who have got P0 and P1, we are going to find the difference between the two positions and we'll call that difference E1. How are we going to get E1? You get uh, the big value, it may be P1 or P0, whatever, because you may have used different sides. So the magnitude of the difference, the big value minus the small value of those two positions, P0 minus P1 is going to give us the E1. And I want you to record E1 in your books. Record E1 in your books. So the E1, what they should not forget is that we have used the, uh, the, the apparatus, we have used the mathematical set Lula. So it measures in centimeters. So even if you are getting the difference, you make, uh, you make sure that you put the, the units in centimeters. And the other thing is that she, you get your E1, which should not be a negative. So make sure that the answer you get is a positive by subtracting the big value of the two positions, P0 and P1 minus the small value. And please remove the dry cell on that hook so that it does not overstretch our rubber band now uh, so that it can go back to a new position. Uh, to add on teacher Peter. Yes. Uh, do these people, they might wonder why we are telling them that the E1 is, it should not be what? A negative. Uh, the reason is that we know that uh, length, we know that this centimeter is like kind of length, okay? And then we looked at uh, scalars and vector quantities in senior one. So length is under a scalar quantity. So even if you get a negative, it, it has no direction. So you leave it as a positive, okay? So that is the reason behind as far as the scalars and vector quantities are concerned. I think we proceed to the next procedures so that we can be able to. Uh, yes. And now after we have noted our E1, we are going to look for E2 and please you should do this first because we know what to do now. We have tried the apparatus in air and now we are going to do in water. So someone should help us read uh, the, the, the procedures of the dry cell in water so that we can be able to follow them. Teacher Jose, do we have any volunteer? Okay, we have Samantha. Samantha wants to say something. Please proceed. I'm going to read. Okay, please. Fill the bottle container with water to three quarters of it. Note the initial pen mark position, the rubber spring balance. Read and record it as P3. Samantha, 
suspend the dry cell on the rubber spring balance and gently sink it into the water. With the dry cell fully immersed in water, note the new pen mark position. Read and quote as P. Find the difference between the two positions. In your book, record the difference as E2. Okay, thank you for reading for us. Uh, I want us to continue. For those people who have been working, now we get that glass plastic cup or the bottle that you cut and three quarters of it, fill it with water. Fill it with water. Then note the initial pointer position of your on your uh, on your spring balance without the dry cell because it may have changed due to the first experiment. That's why we are noting it again. Uh, I want you to do that also, note and record it and call that one P3 and it should be in centimeters. Then you suspend your dry cell on the spring like we did in the first experiment. Uh, but at this time, you are going to sink it in that glass of water. But as you sink it there, make sure it does not touch the bottom or the sides. Make sure it doesn't touch the bottom or the sides, but make it go inside the water. Teacher Doreen, you can share that diagram. Okay. There it is. Hope they can be able to see it clearly, please. Uh, you note that that thing, that dry cell of mine is not touching the bottom, but it is fully immersed in water. So as you immerse it in water, make sure you have made it touch the other spring balance of ours. Make sure it doesn't touch the bottom. Teacher Peter. Yes. Let's hear from our friends because okay. they are too. Hope, hope they are doing something. Let's can hear from allow, them. Whether... Can we allow them to show us the video? Yes. If it is okay with them, you can. They can open their their videos. We see what they are doing. Or not. Uh, one can put up the hand to tell us. Uh, what they are really up to as we proceed. Anyone who wants to share with us, please do. Maurice, Maurice, do you want to share with us? I don't know whether Cynthia is with us. Cynthia, are you with us? Are you following us?
Oh. Okay, <laughs> teacher, teacher Doreen, yes, someone yes. is asking where we are. Maybe you, you reshare the, the notes. I have lost them as well. Okay. So we move together. But I think she was uh, a Noreen. Noreen, we are imagining the, the mass we are having, say battery or padlock or anything that you got. Okay, in that sense, eh? in water, with the procedure you're having there. So that is where we are now. But please, friends, note the time. We must do all this within uh, the next eight minutes, at most eight, because we shall need to have some time for you to upload what you have done uh, for evaluation and comments. Thank you. Over to you, teacher Pete. Okay, I would like to see this, what we are having from those people. We are immersing the dry cell in water making sure it doesn't touch the bottom. Then we read what the P4 is. What is the new pointer position? What is the new pen mark position when we have immersed this dry cell completely in water? Uh, please make sure doesn't touch the bottom. Have we uh, gotten somebody who has successfully gotten the values of P3? And P3 and P4, anybody who has got them? Okay, let's hear from Daphne. Okay. Daphne has been quiet for a long. Daphne, any progress? Because I really want you to try out to this. So I'm still trying. Okay. At least you're trying. Janet, any progress? I'm also still trying. Okay. But friends, don't forget that we have a few minutes on to this. We need to proceed and do this within time. Morris, any progress? Let me hope you're not trying as well. Morris? Okay. Zion, any progress? Okay, we seem not to have Zion on call. Okay, for those of you, our friends have been trying. How far have you gone? Uh, maybe. Teacher Jose, they should show us the video. Yes. Better we can help them. As maybe they are trying out. Uh, show us your videos so that we can help you. And uh, I want to see your part of how um, what what's the next step. Faith Morris. Morris. So members, share with us what you are doing. When after putting the dry cell uh, in the water, we want to see how you are doing it. Anybody share with us the video? And we see what you are doing. Anybody to show us the video? Okay. Some friends. 
may not be in position, Noreen? Have you gotten some values, Noreen? Okay, that is very, that is wonderful. Teacher Dorin and teacher Peter. Yes, yes please. Uh, unfortunately, we have a friend here is doing a commendable job in the Padlet. I wish we could check out, but uh, I, I can't identify him or her because she's she registered as anonymous. I think she didn't sign in, but uh, the, the work is really good. Maybe we need to check out, and she needs to take us through how she has done that. But her pictures are very clear okay. and on point. I think she yes. should rename. She, uh, she, she don't have a, an account on Padlet. As we say that you go on Google Play Store, uh, you make sure you download the app for Padlet, and then after you sign in using your Gmail account, you'll be able to see your name as you're sending some work. Uh, Nori, do you hear me? Yes, it is called, it is Padlet, Padlet. Okay, let me, let me type that in the chat. Okay. Very first here, go to your app store, or Google Play Store and type uh, Padlet, just that. Check your chat, you'll be able to, to see an app kind of with, with wings, kind of. Okay, Mas is asking, <coughs> excuse me, Mas is asking how he or no, how she can uh, obtain the values of okay. E. Okay. E simply, E simply is, is the difference between the two readings you have obtained. Okay. But in a later time, we shall note that is kind of extension. Okay. Yes, but if you know P1 and P2, just find the difference or subtract them, sorry, P4 and, and P3. Those are substitutes, okay? They are below, not like uh, the class P4 and then P3. I meant to say P subscript 4 and then P subscript 3. Okay. Teacher Peter, we look to be with only 16 minutes at most. Yeah. So I think so we continue. I think, uh, we need to take our friends through the last few things. So that we give them the last 10 minutes to work out and upload the work. Okay, now for those people Thank you. With, uh, with a dry cell, I want you to note your weight in air in your books. Note it as 63.9 because that is what we have in our measurement. Uh, please, those people with a big dry cell, note it as 63.9 grams as your weight in air. I'm, I'm using grams because I don't want you to uh, put to kilograms and then uh, to newtons at this point. We can wait to do that. Uh, I want you to call that your weight in air. So you write your weight in air, 63.9. But for those who have used other materials, uh, you have to please note the procedure that we have done. The weight in air must be known. So you must be knowing the mass of what you have used. If you have uh, any measuring mass measuring instrument at home, uh, like a weighing scale, you can be able to use that one. 
so that it can give you the mass. If you don't have, then at a later stage, you will find a dry cell and you try these procedures again. Uh, teacher Doreen, you can take us to the other slide. Okay, my friends, uh, now we are going to get the weight of the dry cell in water. And we are going to denote it as W and then a, a big W. So anyone who can tell us how can we use the values that we have got for E1 and E2 and the weight in air to find the value of W. May I have hands to see someone tell us how can we use those three values that we know this, the E1, because you know it, you have written it. The E2, you know it, you have written it. The weight in air, we have it as 63.9. How can we use them to find W? Please hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, uh, so that we can. Uh, OK, friends, we need to apply some mathematical expressions here. So, chat during that is sixty three point nine is for weight in air. Yes, it is not the W because W is weight in water. So, maybe we call it W A, the weight in air. Now, members, any person who can tell us how can we get a W using E1, E2, and the 63.9 that we have got? No hand. Ruther, Ruther, can you go on, please? Um, teacher, you get it by comparing the extensions you've got and the weights given. Okay. The extensions that we have got and the weights. Now, each weight has given us an extension. When the dry cell was in air, it gave us an extension E1. When it is in water, it gave us E2. Now we know E1, we know E2, we know the 63.9, but we don't know the W. So we'll borrow ideas from the Hooke's Law. Those who remember Hooke's Law, I can remind you, or someone there can remind us, anyone who can remind us what Hooke's Law is, how does it state? Chap, 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 time has gone. Someone to state for us, Hooke's Law, what does it say? Yes, Hannah. Um, Hooke's Law states that the extension produced in an elastic material is directly proportional to the applied force, provided the elastic limit has not been exceeded. Good, thank you, Hannah. Provided the elastic limit has not been exceeded, the ratios that we have there are going to give us W because the extension is directly proportional to the force causing it. So the ratio of extensions E1 out of E2 is equal to the ratio of the weights the weight that caused E1 is 63.9, that is the weight in air, divide by the weight that caused E2, which is called the weight in water, W. And therefore, since we know the other things, uh, E1, E2, and the 63.9, we can be able to find the value of W. So I will request you in your book, 
use the results that you have got and write your answer for w use the answer that you have got and write your answer for w teacher can we go on our I think almost the last one can we go on please I think we can go on to the last slide. So make sure uh, students, you know this formula here. You're supposed to put it in your head. So it is this formula, uh, it is the one that we have substituted to get this, where there is weight in air. We say that weight in air is 63.9. So we are just substituted for you. So in your own, uh, using your own values, you will substitute E1 and then E2 to get this C weight in water. Okay. Now, teacher, uh, maybe, teacher Peter, yes, before, yes. Uh, our friends should know that uh, we are using water now, but some other person can use any other fluid or liquid. Eh? Okay. And then the ratio now will be weight in what? Sorry, weight in air over weight in that liquid that you're using or fluid. Okay. Yes. So we, we can transform the formula depending on the fluid we are using or liquid. And that's that's what I wanted to say. Over to you, please. Okay. Uh, I want. To to interact with my friends the time has gone but i will want them to uh do this maybe as they go they are going to put their uh work in the padlet for us to look at it uh i want them to tell us what do they observe about the weight in air the 63.9 and the weight in water, the value of W that they will have got, what do they observe about those two? Then, can they find the apparent change in weight if these two are different? Can you find their, the, the, the difference between them? And does that difference mean anything to you? So I want to hear from members in two minutes only so that we summarize. Anybody has calculated the weight yet? The apparent uh, the weight in water, so like that you have you finished getting the apparent change. Okay, friends, not as well that uh, even when you're not ready to share here, we are posting all our work, depending on what we are supposed to do this afternoon in the Padlet, it's a reminder. But we created uh, two sections. So look out for a section of hand in, hand in either assignment or homework. That's where we are posting all our work. So after taking your pictures, writing your statements, your summaries, everything, post there. The section is hand in, with the title hand in assignment or homework in that sense. So we might leave here when you're not ready or ready with the work. So after doing it, you can do the needful and post in the section 
And uh, when you open your Padlet of Senior 3 Holistic e Learning Platform, look out for a section or column with hand in assignment or homework. That's where you're posting all our work. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, teacher Jose, for that reminder. Okay, have this. Members, have we been able to get the weight, please? Anyone who has got the weights, tell us your observations. Uh, haven't, then uh, you can put your observations in the padlet as we have all of us to do at the end. Uh, Somebody is raising up a hand, teacher Jose, are you seeing? Okay. Thank you so much, Doreen, Peter and Jose. I'm just requesting if in these few minutes, if possible, one of you who is ready could share the page of the Padlet that you're talking about and you tell them what to do. Because there are some who are new, some are old, yes, but when you just tell them, go and look out for this, if possible, anyway, in the last few minutes, someone shares the page of the Padlet and just directs them briefly. Teacher Doreen, please. Are you ready? I think I'm having uh, a laptop and I've not yet put the other software of it. So anybody who is using a phone, teacher Peter? I hope I still have my, uh, I, I lost my, my co-host rights. Uh, can we request Mr. Dungu to give you some uh, rights such that you can share? your screen. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, Mr. Doom. Uh, okay, I'm going to share my screen now. I think you can be able to see it. Uh, this uh, called Padlet and the SQE looks like that. Teacher Doreen, are you able to see it? We are able to see it, teacher Peter, but yes, please yes. increase on your voice. Okay, this is the, the Padlet for S3. We have uh, the document that we have been using, it is there. Uh, we have the requirements that teacher Chikiambu put. Uh, we have uh, Luther's assignment, it is there. Thank you, Luda, for posting. In the public already, he has all the things. And this is where the students are going to put their assignment. Their assignment. Teacher Peter, Teacher Peter. Public. Yes. If you go down a bit, just below. Um, there. In that message where you see that colored picture, if you click there, it opens a new Padlet and that's where we ought to be going. We shall have to transfer these people's work there. Okay. Has it opened? Let me click on the blue. Yes, I've clicked on it. I think it's open. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's there. The there it is. There. I think that mm. this is what we have. Yes, so that is where they should now be putting their work. Eh? We shall transfer for the other people who first placed it in there. I, I think they will be pressing the plus sign and they add their work there. Yes. So anybody with a okay. prob uh, problem, we are here. You can ask before teacher Peter stops sharing his screen.
Okay, friends, I think we have run out of time, but to wrap up this, uh, we have a few, a few concerns here. Zayn is asking, uh, how can, I, I don't know whether Zayn is a girl or boy, but asking how he or she can access the recordings. She's not... Uh, because the the groups are full already, so maybe Mr. Dung will attend to that. But uh, thank you, friends, really for attending this afternoon. I thank the teachers who have been on board. Teacher Peter, yes. Teacher Peter, come again. Did somebody say the groups are already full? Yes. Yes. Yes, Zion is saying the, the groups are full. 3C is full already. Okay, maybe, let me let me check our comment. Let's check and see, otherwise we copy okay. a link and give her the link right, right. away. Okay, as we are sh checking for that, uh, for that thing, our members, they should not, before we conclude, uh, because time might not be enough, but we should not, uh, that we're supposed to keep uh, your results safe for reference in our next lesson. You make sure you keep them very well. So remember I have used the different apparatuses, including a dry cell. So remember to dispose that dry cell uh, off safely. And otherwise it is better you keep it because you will need it also in the next lesson. Okay, but even if you have many at home, you don't just throw them anywhere because people might eat them, those children, they can eat it and they get problems within their, uh, they can get some diseases from there. Senior but two, can, I'm going to close the meeting now. You can just put them somewhere such that people, they can use it in their projects. They are very useful. So you're supposed to keep the rubber spring balance out of reach of the spring so that they don't distort it, okay? And always remember to ask the, the all the items you'll be uh, in need of during the activities from the parents. Don't just grab them without their permission, please. Teacher Doreen. That's you, Teacher Peter. Uh, thank you for sharing i wanted to emphasize that in, your, in these people's books they should find the change in weight the difference in the two weights that they have got and they should convert that weight to newtons they should convert that weight to newtons and then keep it safe for the next lesson how to convert to newtons we are going to use mass times acceleration due to gravity and our mass is the w that you have got but it is in grams first change it to kilograms and then multiply it with 10 the answer you get is our up thrust force that we have got for today and in our next lesson we will need that value so you keep it properly in uh, otherwise i thank you all for attending this wonderful lesson please remember to put your work on the padlet so that we can be able to tell you where to improve or how to uh, do the rest of the things but you have been a wonderful group thank you for being around the teachers who have been here, welcome. Teacher Doreen, uh, welcome, Teacher please. Jose, thank you for being here. I've seen Teacher Javi teacher Dungu. and Mr. Dungu. Please thank you for being part of the class. You're welcome. Uh,
So this one should be in your minds, friends, the formula for finding up thrust. Uh, up thrust is supposed equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. So we have the mass, the acceleration due to gravity, it is always a constant and it is measured in meters per second squared. So support to take note that uh, as you are doing your calculations. And that mass is the W that they have got, but they should put it in kilograms. Okay. The mass is the W and it should be in kilograms. So I guess our time is up. Okay, thank you, teachers. I think we shall close this meeting now. Okay.